You a star. Yo, not the type to snort the white lines. I mean the type to late the night time. I heard you got a man, but who in they right mind? What's up, everybody? We're here at Cookaway. Hey. hey, but we're about to face Grapevine Faith tomorrow. Everybody's ready. I got Everybody's money on this. I got money on this. <laughs> but uh, for now, go, we're just chilling at Kirby Lane, about to exit. But you know, we're gonna get super hyped tomorrow, as hey, always. Hey, get Kyler We're here with the one and only Kyler. Uh, he's on his date with his girlfriend right now. Uh, you wanna say hi to the vlog? Hey, Bob. Uh, what's, what's your uh, girlfriend's name? I'm Skirt. Sophie. Sophie? Okay, Sophie. Uh, this is this is Kyler's girlfriend, Sophie, and this is Kyler. We just met him up. Complete coincidence, you know. Well, I don't know how I don't know how it goes, but you know, hey, it's all right. Buddy, we're at the soccer game right now. St. Mike's versus Regents. You know, we're out here with fans. Natalia's hat. She wants to show it to you guys. Oh, Junior yeah. Olympic All American. <laughs> Everybody do the awesome. snow. Everybody do stone. <laughs> yes, Charlie Stone. Hey, everybody. It's pretty late at night. Uh, you know, as of as per usual, I'm in I'm in the jersey. I'm sleeping in the jersey. Um, so, with that being said, good night, everybody. See you guys in the morning. We're waking up pretty early because we have to be at Regents by 12 o'clock p.m. Two hours before the game starts. So, deuces. <laughs> First thing I want to say before we get into the uh, get into the emotional part, um, this basketball season, this whole basketball season, since the basketball season's over now, the season's over now. Um, we unfortunately lost to Grapevine, 92-86, very high-scoring game. I mean, that's almost that's almost NBA level, really. But um, there are a lot of life lessons learned in sports, especially basketball. And, you know, losing, especially in a tight playoff game situation, a do-or-die situation that we were just in a few hours ago, it does hurt, and it does suck, especially when you really love the sport of basketball. But, really, I mean, you're going to... People are going to have so many shortcomings and so many these... I wouldn't say complete L's, but I would say um, some... I mean, we're going to fall short at some point in time. And for it to be a, a tight, high-pressure basketball game, I believe that that is only um, a prequel to what's going to happen in the future. For not only me, but for my, my fellow senior basketball players, Cooper and Will, you know, we're going to have a lot of challenges pressed against us, especially in college. And... Uh, especially in college and in the uh, future ahead of us that will completely test us and sometimes we'll fall short and sometimes we'll make it and this is this game is pretty much uh, a, a foreshadowing of what we may see and, and how, how we can handle this in the future you know to uh, the fellow seniors that played basketball on the team Will and Cooper man I, I, I wish you guys the best 
at the absolute best throughout the rest of the year, throughout the rest of the senior year, and throughout college, and throughout life. Um, playing basketball with you guys since freshman year has been a true honor. Um, you guys were so athletic, super talented, and I'm really going to miss it. I'm really going to miss playing with you guys. Okay, so just a little forewarning here. Uh, this is where I start to get a little bit emotional. Um, so if you do not want to see it, you can skip about 30 seconds to a minute in. Or a minute after this point in the video, right here. This point in the video, skip about 30 seconds to a minute, and you won't see me cry. But it's about to get emotional, and yeah. <laughs> yes, this will be the last time I wear this jersey. I'm going to take it off right now, actually. Never going to wear it again. It sucks that it has to happen, but... That's what it's come down to. Um, I loved, I loved playing basketball. This was an amazing experience throughout my whole life. Um, wearing this jersey was so <laughs> fuck. I'm starting to cry. Wearing this jersey was really, um, <sighs> really amazing in my last years because I knew that my uh, my hard work really paid off in the end. I know that in the years forward, someone's going to take this jersey and take it to the state championship. And they're going to win, man. They're going to win. And best of luck to you guys. People taking all of our jerseys and going farther, going going deep, going to the state championship, taking a dub in the state championship. You guys truly are the MVPs, man. You guys really are. Um... Each moment that I've had in this jersey, in my away jersey, whether we played home or away, it was it was a wonderful memory, wonderful memories that I will cherish for a long time to come. They are, um, and to anybody who wants to play basketball, especially for regions, uh, if you really do love the sport do it because look at me i'm not i'm not a good basketball player i was a bench warmer pretty much almost my whole high school career and i still loved it. i still played through it and you guys everybody 100 percent recommend it 100 percent recommend it thank you to our amazing student section and fan base um uh you guys brought the hype you guys really brought so much hype into that game like, i've never seen our student section be as wild and as crazy as it was this year never have i ever and you know uh, especially the people that when i with the rare moments when i did go on the court you know you guys really you guys you guys brought me to life on there you guys you guys made me feel like you know I am supported even though I'm a little bench warmer. <laughs> I am, you know, I guess I do mean something to the team. Although I, you know, don't bring much talent to it. But um, in the years forward, I know you guys will get bigger and you guys will get better. Um, and I hope people that d do play sports have the same, um, have the same energy brought to them. As they as uh, they brought to the basketball team, um, our fans, our student section, they do mean a lot. And you know, you guys, you guys, I will miss you guys as well. Um, you know, I'll be a part of the student section in whatever college I go to. Um, undecided now, but um, you know, I know, I know that from being part of a student section on other um, and from for other sports. It, uh, I, I know for a fact that we did really mean to, to, to love on our team or love on our squads, you know, whether it be volleyball, football, basketball, baseball, you name it. You know, we, we want to love on our squads because they bring, they bring the talent and we bring the energy, we bring the hype, and it just correlates so well. It makes, it makes us all, you know, it, ma it, makes, it's, it makes us all successful, really. But finally... Um, I want to give respect to Grapevine Faith because they worked their butts off. They did. They worked their butts off. They did well. They succeeded, and they move on to the next round. They did. Um, 
Am I still salty? Of course. I'm not going to not be salty about football and basketball. I mean, we're playing them in so many sports. Nowadays, it's just it's just going to keep on going. They're pretty much our rival. They're pretty much our state tour tournament rivals, if you really think about it. Um, they were some of them were cocky. Some of them were. I'm not. I'm not going to deny that. Um, you know, singling people out. You know, number two got a technical. Be number two on Griezmann got a technical because he was being. He is a douchebag, and so and you know after, after I, the game ended, you know some people I heard number twenty one from Grievine, you know went like this. <laughs> They're gonna get their ass beat on Tuesday against Cedar Hill Trinity because guess what? Cedar Hill Trinity's gonna kick their ass. They average they average a lot of points, and they are also no, the number three ranked team in the state. So they can they can do this all they want. They're just gonna get beat on Tuesday. They will because there's no, uh, I, they're very there are very few teams who are able to stop Cedar Hill Trinity. Very few teams. That's why they're ranked number three in the state. That's why they are projected to go on to the state championship. And um, I do wish that they do kick Grapevine's ass. But the good news is, is that the vlog's not over yet. The vlog is not over yet. We still have. One more thing left. We have to go. Well, we don't have to. I really do want to, though. I want to go to a the uh, football party, you know, the end of the season party. It was a little bit later, th later than usual, about a few months afterward, uh, after the end of the season. But we're gonna, we are going to enjoy that. We're going to vlog. Have a great time. You know, enjoy a nice Saturday night. Um, not really think about the loss too much. You know, we did, of course, you know, you can say we took an L. It was a very close game throughout the whole, it was a very close game throughout the whole session, the whole, the whole 30 minutes of gameplay. But, you know, um, unfortunately didn't make it. But I'm going to have to let you go right now. But we'll go, we're going to the, we're going to the football party at 8 o'clock. See you guys there. Lego. <laughs> And it's specifically the interior too, who I focus mainly on. Um, and the stats, the record um, shows. What's up, everybody? Just got back home from the football thing. Not a lot of footage there because it was just a, just a little conversation between all the uh, all the football players and everybody in the administration with the parents and everything. So nothing really big happened over there. But other than that. This is, uh, this is gonna wrap. But before we officially wrap up this vlog, I just want to talk about the plans for the future on this YouTube channel. Um, I saw we hit 90 subscribers, which is amazing. Uh, I really am, uh, really am very happy about that. But um, yeah, in the future, what, what's gonna happen is um, I'll, I'll post vlogs probably almost weekly. Probably I. Since I mean there there's a lot there are a lot of sports still left to uh, cover and you know just to, just to be a part of the student section you know the, our girls basketball team they look it, it it looks like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything I'm not, I don't want to you know knock on wood but it looks like they're state bound hopefully uh, if they can if they can get up to the to the level of state win it win against all their opponents and cop that cop that state dub. We'll definitely cover that. Uh, I believe the state championship will be placed at Abilene Christian University. So, you know, the drive down there would definitely be worth it to see our girls kick ass in state. Um, we also have baseball. The rest of soccer. Soccer's about to head to playoffs. Both girls and guys. Um, let's see here. Lacrosse. Lacrosse is another good one. Uh, and then just hanging out with friends. You know, spending the rest of senior year. Making the best of it. Um, but, yeah. You know, it's 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 hard that basketball season's over. Um, there there will be a video, of course, of one of those little narrative videos covering that sooner or later. Um, I'll let you guys know when that's coming. It probably in the next week or two, maybe. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. Also, but in terms of the vlog, that's about it. However, I want to announce that since we're growing and. I'm not really posting a lot of content or a lot. There's not a big variety of content anymore. It's just mainly vlogs. Um, I'm going to add 
I, and I've been thinking about this. I've been talking to some friends and stuff and uh, coordinating what we're going to do. I am going to add something called the, uh, it, it's, it's a challenge series. So we'll be with tons of friends. We'll do challenges. Um, new ones coming up pretty soon. As soon as we can, as soon as we can coordinate this and get this, get this set, uh, all, all videotape, uh, the challenge, the, our first challenge video on this YouTube channel, it will be, a, it will, it will be a, a great start to a new, uh, to a new series, um, other than vlogs and narrative videos, of course, um, the, the challenges will definitely bring more diversity to this channel since pretty much all we have well all i've done on this thing on, on this channel for the last few months it are vlogs uh, if if you look at down the history primarily they're just there's just the majority of the videos are vlogs so we're gonna we're gonna put some more diversity give a give this channel a little bit more of a variety so we can reach more subscribers way quicker um since we're at 90 right now and you know Working our way up, sooner or later we'll hit a hundred, and then um, go just go on from there. But I'm very, I'm very excited about this YouTube channel and and how it's grow and how it's growing and what we're gonna do to make this even better and improve this to the highest extent. But with all that being said, everybody, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash, 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 quadruple, smash that like button. I'll see you guys in the next video coming out soon. Peace out!